Today I'm going to be doing a tool review on the Blue Driver OBD2 scan tool. It's made by Lemur Wireless Vehicle Monitors. It connects to any Android or Apple product. I use it with my iPad and iPhone. It's real nice to have. You can keep it in your glove box. Use it wherever you need to. This scan tool will read check engine lights on any OBD2 system that's from 1996 to the present. Anything before that's OBD1 and it's not compatible with. It will read live data on and mode 6 data and smog checks on a lot of different vehicles, mainly your American cars and some Japanese cars. But it's the live data is not compatible with every vehicle, so um, I'll leave a link in the description below to their website. You can also see the website right here to, that you can go to their website and they'll show you all the information about which vehicles the live data is compatible with. Let me unbox it. I'll just pull it out of the box right here. And there's two ways you can download the app. You can use the little scan bar right here uh, I think it's QR reader you can scan that with your phone and then it'll take you to the website to download it or you can go to bluedriver.net or this is the way I did it I just went to the uh, Apple store and I typed in blue driver and it pops right up and I'll be using an iPad to scan it with I also have the app on my iPhone this is real easy to keep in the glove box. If you're out somewhere and get a check engine light, you can check it right on the spot. First thing you wanna do is make sure you have the key in the off position. You wanna locate your data port for your ECM. On this vehicle, it's right up under here. Kind of hard to see. That's just right here. I wanna take the cover off. So you can get a better look at it. You take your scan tool. Plug it in, you're going to see that light come on. All I did on my iPad was type in blue driver, search, and there's this one right here by Lemur, Lemur Vehicle Monitors right here. That's the one you want to download, it had the same little uh, icon that's printed on the box. Once it's downloaded, go to the, before you go to the app, and then back up, go to settings, and you wanna connect to the Bluetooth scan tool. I'm gonna go to Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on. We see it pop up right here, blue driver. Click on it to connect to it. I believe it had already cut off on me. Nope, there goes the light. The light will start blinking on the scan tool device that you have plugged in. Now we see it's connected. Now that it's connected, we're gonna open our app right here. And it'll give you an option once the app first pulls up, you can buy the scan tool if you don't already have it. Already had the scan tool. So now it's connecting. Once it has connected, turn your engine to the key on, engine off position. Once you have it turned to the key on, engine off position, click read codes. It's gonna scan. You see right here, we have one confirmed trouble code, PO401 EGR A flow insufficient detected. Click on the arrow over here. And we can, you can look up any codes you want to type in or anything. And to clear the codes, you can, it's going to scan again. You can click right here. And it's going to clear the code and turn that check engine light off. If you have a problem that needs attention to, the check engine light's going to come on. But you can use this to clear your check engine light. And we're going to see how well of a job it does.
clear codes, clear codes. After I cleared codes, I'll check recodes again to see if they did clear. No codes found. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that says no codes found, so it did clear them. The engine running, we now can see that the check engine light has cleared and it's off for now. I'm using the blue driver to read live data and mode 6 data in a 2016 Toyota Sienna. Data for its driver's side. On the left hand side, up under the dash, right there. With the engine running, go down here to the bottom and press live. Go to settings. Right there, I click on supported. And you can select all these supported items for your vehicle to look at on the graph. So I'm going to look at fuel system status, engine RPM, vehicle speed, intake air temperature, throttle position. See, all you got to do once you select all them, go to back. It's going to show you graphs of everything you selected. Throttle position, intake air temperature, vehicle speed, engine RPM. Now, I especially like this vehicle uh, RPM feature on vehicles that don't have a tachometer on it. That's pretty cool to use. You can select all the ones that supports your vehicle if you want to. It's pretty cool. It's nice to play around with, get to know your vehicle better. Scroll all the way through here. Go to that. Then you can scroll through here with all the ones that you've selected. See, vehicle right now has 13.2, 13.3 volts. That's good. Then if you want to look at mode 6 data, Go back to scan tool, mode 6, continue. And basically what mode 6 is, it's a bunch of diagnostic tests that the engine control module runs on your engine. And it'll check off everything that checks good and it'll have red X's by anything that comes up bad. You can go into these IDs and look them up and see what it actually means, what these numbers mean and everything. And I'll have, also have some reports you can look at with check engine lights. It'll tell you some of the common problems with them. If you can do freeze frame where you're looking at live data and stuff, and you can freeze frame it whenever your vehicle gives a problem, and you can diagnose it later to see what went wrong. So this wraps up my tool review video on the Blue Driver. It's fairly easy to use. You can use it anywhere. Most most everyone's got an Android or iPhone now, cell phone with you at all times. So you can put this in your glove box, have it wherever you are, whenever you need it. It's the, I'll say the most difficult part to use about it to me is initially getting it to connect to your phone via Bluetooth. Sometimes it may take a couple tries to get it to connect, which that's pretty common with any Bluetooth device. Sometimes you just got to have it just right for it to pair up. It is fairly inexpensive for what it does. You can purchase them on Amazon or at the website. If you found this video helpful, remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.